We're super excited to hear some poems tonight. I am pleased to announce that John Poach is reading first, correct, John? That's correct. All right. John Poach is the author of six collections of poetry, two of which were published this year, Texas's and Between Two Rivers. His work has been published in Poetry, The Paris Review, The Nation, The Yale Review, and other journals. He teaches at Texas Tech University in Lubbock. Welcome, John. Okay, that was quick. Um, well, because this is a special, super, super intimate reading, I'm gonna read something I've never read at other readings. A very abstract poem called Evening. And uh, it's a strange poem. I don't, I don't quite understand it myself. Does love covet a reflection? Or is it one night that, it, that in its eros outshines the sun? You can look out the window easier than you can look in force of the sun lying down, day is almost over now. Shadows stride the land, tipping a balance of fear and peace. Classes on doubt are offered here by the rising weight of blood. Wait. Time, plural, is what we might call evening. Stay in. Come out. The neighbors have televisions. There's a window. There's the moon. The world is inconsolable. And this is why you look back in at where you were. And I'm just going to read this uh, one more poem. It's called Birthday. And uh, my birthday is December 28th. I share a birthday with Denzel Washington. And a uh, uh, few things you need to know about that is that if your birthday is December 28th, your Christmas presents and birthday presents are kind of conflated. It's very disappointing to have a birthday around Christmas. Um, and me personally, as a poet, I get depressed always on my birthday. Not because of the presence thing, just because I think about my mortality, <laughs> as poets often do. Um, we're kind of consumed with the idea of death. Um, and Sandhill Crane's feature, uh, largely in this poem, they stand about this high. Um, they're extraordinary. I don't know if you get them here in Austin. Oh, yeah. um, in Austin, but a little but, And I'm um, sure, but they fly over. They fly over all of Texas. Um, Lubbock is a major flyway, and so we have them coming over um, all through the late fall and even through December. And some of them actually um, will kind of winter uh, nearby in a place called the Mule Shoe Wildlife Refuge. Um, tens of thousands of them. And so this, feature, this poem features the sandhill crane. And it's in a, it, this is in ballad form. So uh, you'll hear the kind of Emily Dickinson 4343, although there's so much enjambment of these lines, you, the rhyme it actually is going to be a little bit more um, kind of held at bay, but I'll try to announce it in my reading because uh, I love rhyme. Birthday. December and the sandhill cranes are circling overhead, invisible as stealth jet planes. Their harmless cries widespread on silence. They have the sense to know that south is safer, warm, behind them rolling hills of snow, and next year's farm after farm. They circle and complain somewhere a mile up. You have to crane, ha-ha, your head and stare a stretch like a giraffe. And finally, you see the line the thermal draws them to. That straighter wind, the sign invisible in blue, above this Texas college town. Adrift, they look like gnats, got organized and made a frown or a smile. Their habitats remain as long as cotton fields or farm or corn or sorghum. 
At night, they hold the useless shields of their breasts, silencing their boredom in hopes coyotes won't surprise and leave them in a heap of feathers torn, legs strewn, orange eyes bewildered beyond sleep. Or morning, they rise from earth away, ungainly, lucky, like me, below, surviving another birthday, a cancer scare. It strikes me. I'm loved despite my gazing toward the mirror of my days. Forgive your selfish servant, Lord, bemoaning holidays. Though discontent and fickle, I can turn to a ballad, tropes of seasons, turning birds on high, and open my envelopes. I know the new year is just one more turn toward death. Oh life, my cake and candle fire come, we sing, we take the knife. Thank you.